what's up guys it's your boy alfie here back with another absolutely awesome video hope you guys are having a good day because i know i am and you better like and subscribe in the next five seconds or no joke and no tips or no scam you will have your girlfriend will push you over or your crush will deny you and be rude to you for a long time so basically this video, um, like, it was like basically, um, pretty, she was like, like, I had a crush on this girl at my school. And she was pretty straightforward, nice. Yeah, she was really kind. Until... Like a few months like after I um, started having a crush on her, she literally just threw on... It blank, blanked me out. So, I decided... I was I don't like how as a friend. Yeah? Yeah? Why? Basically, um, nice little sandwich. <laughs> My crush, I just call her um, Susan for the purpose of the video. So, Susan, like, was blanking me out. And she wasn't like the nicest of persons. To be honest, she was like, like I said, she was pretty straightforward, so. So. What made, what Susan decided to do was. Anyways, um, so basically Susan wasn't the nicest of until I moved on from her and to a crush, and to another crush, like, let's just call her April. Mm. So yeah, we already had some, like, well not some, we had a bit of beef. Pretty well. 
Yep. April is actually friends with with Susan, so I would understand. Susan, if you're watching this, um, I understand if you hate me. I don't like putting people's real names into my videos, so. If, well, unless you're rude to me, that is. If you're nice to me, then you don't have any beef. I just don't want to be rude to you and upset you because, but you, you're pretty bland now. But. Okay, now, now that I've got a horsey, I need to kill this horsey. Anyways. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically what happened. Um, oh, why? Um, basically, what happened was um, Susan. Well, it was a PE lesson, and I was like, yeah, I need to tell April that I like her. So I tell April that I like her, and she's like, okay. And later on in the day, Susan comes up to me and asks me if I like April, and I'm like, yeah. But not like, like as a friend, like, like, like April. So I said, yeah. I run out to see my nan. My nan. Because nan, my nan was the one picking me up from school today. And, uh, that day, and I was like, oh, sure. And this happened, like, yesterday. You know when people say, oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, that happened to me, basically. So, literally, it was... So, the, probably, like, the, a day or two after I'm recording this, and probably, like, today, um, after I record... Um, a day today so the same day i record this and publish this to youtube maybe um maybe you'll understand how how i've got why i've got beef with my crush no not my my actual crush april but like my ex crush if you, if you get what i'm saying over here so um basically what do i um, I and then like basically I go to my I, I go to my dad. Don't break the news yet because if I broke the news then him pretty sure April and Susan would hate me. So what do I do? I um for the purpose of this video decide that Maybe being the absolute doofus I was, didn't break the news, so they didn't know until like about, they, they probably won't know, and I'll get away with it. So what do I do in retaliation to me, you know, being good friends with this person? And me and April got on really well. So what what do I do? I'm like So like I basically it got to me that I was like hanging out with April every so often and I was like okay. So basically, I'm just like, um, 
I can hear this guy put you. No strange. So like what what do I do? I am um, Basically, what do I do? What I do is I am um, <gasps> um basically what I do is I tell her I like her and she's like, yeah, like, she, she didn't care until Susan told her, you know what, let's just call them by their real names, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. So Darcy and Angel, obviously Darcy being the ex-crush in the video and Angel being my new crush, but Darcy being Darcy, she tells her that I had a crush on her. And... I mean, yeah, sure, that's pretty straightforward. And I was, like, waiting for my sister at the time. I was just waiting for my sister to come out, because usually when my sister's class comes out, like, the beef begins to, to begin. So, like, basically, like, I, I wasn't annoyed at her or anything. I was just, like, pretty... You know, straightforward, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, like, at home, we didn't get along like those sibling rivalries you see in, um, YouTube videos these days. So, like, we, we like, get along, like, um, like, peas in a pod. You could say it like that. <laughs> So we got along pretty well. Uh, and to be honest, it was actually pretty fun. Like, we got along like the opposite of brothers and sisters would. So basically, like, Me being me, the absolute doofus I was, like, oh, I, I didn't say anything rude, so don't, don't make accusations. Da, 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 da. So, but anyways, um, on with the video, um, all of the story is, don't ask out a girl that will just use you, like, Ask out somebody who's tough, nice. Get what I'm saying, mate? So the moral of the story is, don't ask out anyone who's just going to be bland to you, treating you like a piece of, like, dogs on a pod. No, treating you like a cat and dog. You're the dog and she's the cat. And the cat is abusing the dog. So if, if you're in a pretty bad state right now, I do not, and I mean, do not suggest just telling her she's rude and horrible, and because that's that's a great way to end a friendship like that, mate. But the moral of the story is, don't stop beef with your crush. Because to be honest, I don't want to start beef with my with my crush. And besides, if I did, then beef would be pretty, would be cooking in the house right now, mate. Okay, let me just get the poop pickaxe. Where was I? Yeah, moral of the story, do not treat, just because your crush is treating you badly, doesn't mean you treat her like how a dog would to a cat. So, that's the moral of the story. 
don't treat people badly or judge a book by its cover if you get what I'm saying mate so basically that's the end of today's story time video uh hope you enjoyed and shout out to scrubby for shout out to scrubs or scrubby as you might know him as for um inspiring me to make this video um his motto is no joke no scam and my motto is now no joke no scam so you can obviously tell i'm a pretty bland copy anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye mate